Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. The mistake that, that most of these other media people keep making, and the mistake that I think black organizations keep making, every single one of us has attended, spoken at, given a keynote, or been on a panel uh, of MLK Day events for his birthday. Oh, yeah or around his assassination. And I believe one of the fundamental problems is that they keep looking back as opposed to taking that period and tying it to present day. Now I think largely because, as I said to Dr., uh, Reverend Dr. Barber, is that folks, we allow politicians to pimp Dr. King, but we also treat Dr. King like a civil rights bobblehead mascot, mm. <laughs> where we pull them out a couple times a year or when convenient. Most people mm. only have heard the I Have a Dream speech or the, which, or, or really only the bottom the of bottom. I Have a Dream yeah. speech That's right. mm -hmm. and the bottom of the mountaintop speech. Uh, they ha haven't actually read the books he wrote, haven't mm -hmm. actually looked at, uh, again, going beyond those two speeches to understand how do you make what he said and was doing then relevant today? And that, to me, I think is the constant mistake, which is why we have black people who are walking around who only can say content of character and I have a dream or I've, I've been to the mountaintop, I've seen the promised land. I may not get that with you, but these people get that together. And I'm like, yeah, but if you don't understand in that mountaintop speech on April 3rd, 68, where he talked about boycotts of banks, where he talked about mm -hmm. putting money in a black bank, where he talked about uh, don't shop or, or do business where they won't hire you. That's the same thing today. Well, you know, Roland, first of all, going back, and again, high props, brilliance, going back to look at the um, I, have a, I Am A Man, the two brothers who died died because the garbage trucks that they were working on had deficient equipment. They were forced to jump down to compact the garbage. But also, then, also because they could not go inside where the white workers were. Well, that's another piece of it. But first, they right. jumped down, had to compact the trash. Legs were amputated. One. Two, getting paid 90 cents an hour less than the white people were getting paid. And, and, because I talked to their sons mm. last year in Memphis, mm -hmm. and... When it rained, they sent the black workers home. Unpaid. 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 And, and the white people. And if the rain stopped, they didn't call the black workers to come back. They called the white workers to come back so the black workers didn't get paid at all. So the, so the whole structure of the system was warped. That's one. And so that's why King kept coming back there. He came back there. They told him not to come. He came anyway. Number two, as you say, most people have not read the body of Dr. King's work. When he talked about the triple evils, poverty, militarism, you know, racism, those are the three evils. And he talked about that. But people don't want to talk about that. You got these kumbaya people. I'm on Roll of March Unfiltered, but I still won't say MF. Uh, but these <laughs> kumbaya people, <laughs> my mama watches every now and then, uh, <laughs> you know, who basically want to try to make chicken salad out of chicken spit. You can't talk about King and racism without talking about poverty and militarism. And then number three, if you look at that last speech, Roland, and the ways that he lifted stuff up. When he talked about he was going to be a drum major for justice. When he talked about all of that, this is the stuff that gets swallowed right. in this Rudy Tootie nonsense about the king that people want, the kumbaya king, where we all go sit here and sing, we shall overcome, win. We shall overcome, not someday, but today. Well, yep. but, the, but the problem is it makes people uncomfortable, and that's the yeah, issue. Yeah, that's the and radical that, king. That is exactly right. Martin Luther King, as the two-dimensional figure, is the kumbaya figure, right? He is not the guy who was calling for radical action. Right. And radical action and, and talking to people about how they can make justice and make things better, it will require some discomfort. Even reading his, his, his works requires a certain amount of discomfort That's right. from present day. People don't want to do that. But, but we have to have this. If we don't have discomfort, we won't have change. But you that's can't, what Reverend don't. Barber is saying. That's but, what Reverend Barber is saying. But Greg, but you can't, be, you can't have discomfort when you refuse to read. Oh, and believe me, brother, I'm facing that every day. We, every classroom teacher in the country is facing illiteracy. 
students with the ability to read who just simply refuse to. The technology has disrupted everything and it's really tragic. I mean, I think about a book for another book to read by the brother who helped collaborate with Dr. King on his Why I Opposed the War in Vietnam speech, the great Vincent Harding, oh, who God, wrote a book yes. called Martin King, The Inconvenient Hero. It's prophetic that you use the word inconvenient, Roland, because that's what he said. He said when this man came out against the war, he lost everybody. And he Everybody did. ran from him. The Negroes in the church, the black politicians, the and not only that. The it's white people, everyone. the foundations, the liberals, they and, all and, ran. And you think about somebody like Howard Thurman, one of the great spiritual leaders who talked about this question of spirituality and what we must do to each other for each other as human beings. And one other name, a man who still walks the earth, Jack O'Dell. Now you're talking about the C word, communism, the, the well, S word, well, socialism, the idea that you must, that capitalism is one of those evils. Well, you can't celebrate Grant, Martin Luther King. Let's also talk about Jeremiah Wright. Oh, of course. Let's talk about Jeremiah Wright. Of course. And let's talk about that brother and the way that the Obamas threw him under well, the bus. Well, that's why you can't put Martin Luther King and Barack Obama on the same T-shirt and have any serious analysis of what we're talking well, they, about. They, they, you got to make the Obama do so. He's a politician. Now, the King was not a politician. I see Roland got it paged up, brother. You about to read from uh, where yeah, we go so from here. I, so I, I, I keep telling all of you again why you that's need to read uh, Where Do We Go From Here, Chaos or Community. So this is... This is so, so to understand, understand why this show matters and why, why we do what we do. This, this is what King writes. OK, so y'all need y'all to listen because so I'm about to hit some of y'all right now. <laughs> he says there are already structured forces in the Negro community that can serve as the basis for building a powerful united front. First, he says the Negro church, the Negro press, the Negro fraternities and sororities and Negro professional associations. We must admit that these forces have never given their full resources for the cause of Negro liberation. That's right. There are still too many Negro churches that are so absorbed in a future good over yonder that they condition their members to adjust to the present evils over here. Mm. Too many Negro newspapers, mm. and I'm going to edit, web, black websites, black cable networks. Come on, brother. They have veered away from their traditional role as protest organs agitating for social change and have turned to the sensational and the conservative in place of the substantive and militant. That's right. He said militant. Right. Mm -hmm. Too many Negro social and professional groups have degenerated into snobbishness mm. and a preoccupation with frivolities and trivial activity. Mm. But the failures of the past must not be an excuse for the inaction of the present and the future. These groups must be mobilized and motivated. This form of group unity can do infinitely more to liberate the Negro than any action of individuals. For support Roller Martin Unfiltered, be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible.